The first 2D Mario game in over a decade has finally been released, and while the gameplay is great, the new power-ups are innovative, and the level design is fantastic, there's one thing that's been stealing the spotlight from all of them. These guys. That's right, a bunch of talking flowers. Love them or hate them, they are everywhere in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and if there's one thing they do, it's talk. Well then. You know who else likes to talk? Trivia game show hosts. You see where I'm going with this? Using the power of the most advanced artificial intelligence available on the market, I have crammed a brain into one of these guys, and he's going to force me to answer questions while I attempt to speedrun Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Here's how this is going to work. For every level I complete in Wonder, I'm going to be forced to answer a procedurally generated trivia question from a variety of categories randomly chosen by the flower himself. If I get it right, I can move on. If I get it wrong, well, I have to replay the level before continuing the run. Every world in the game, the difficulty of the trivia will increase as well, with the final section of the game peaking at level 7 for the final few Bowser stages. But one more thing. This flower, while he loves to talk, is terribly ill-informed and incredibly condescending. This means that sometimes, even if I answer a question entirely correctly, I'll still be penalized for it. In the original Super Mario Brothers, what is the final boss you encounter in World 8? Uh, it's Bowser, and he's like, throwing some hammers, right? Oh, so close, yet so far. I'm afraid you've stumbled upon a thwomp-sized pitfall. What?! The correct answer is... Bowser's fiery doppelganger, False Bowser. What? I gotta do this again now. It is his game show after all, so what he says goes. But first, I want to take a minute to talk about today's video sponsor, Factor. Factor is a meal delivery service that sends you fresh, never frozen meals directly to your door, which is perfect for someone like me. Living alone couldn't get me tough for one, and with Factor, I not only eat healthier than I would if I were on my own, I do so with a fraction of the effort. All I have to do is take one out of the fridge, unwrap, reheat, and in two minutes, I'm good to go with a nutritious filling meal. Factor also has many add-on options to help you round out your nutrition plan. From on-the-go meals, to breakfast additions, to even things like smoothies and pressed juices, which are my personal favorite. They're nutritious, taste great, and leave me feeling super refreshed afterwards. To get started with Factor yourself, head to Factor75.com or click on the link below and use code RAISEFIRE50 to get 50% off your very first Factor box. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into it. We need to make sure that we're trying to be efficient here. You know, we need to do all that we need to do in this level and we need to get out ASAP because keep in mind, we are trying to speed run. So there it is, pretty simple, level one completed, nothing bad there. Got the wonder seed, everything's looking good. All right then, let's sashay into our first trivia category. In the original Super Mario Brothers game, what power up turns Mario into fire Mario? And you're probably thinking, is it a fire flower or maybe a mushroom? Or perhaps it's D's nuts. <laughs> no, I, I am thinking, is it a fire flower? It is. It's a fire flower that turns him into fire Mario. You gave me the answer. It's also not D's nuts. Okay, hold up. Give me a second. We need to fix him. Okay, you're, we're just going to say that host died. Salute the fallen soldier. Hello there. Uh, we're doing a game show. You asked me what power up. Oh, oh, my bad. He broke. Flower, are you alive? You've fallen into the well. We need to do a trivia game show. Are you here? Well, 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 look. Who fell into the well? Of course I'm here, darling. I'm always here waiting for someone to entertain me with their inferior knowledge. Uh, your brother was actually here and he asked me the first question. So let's just pick up from there, Mr. Flower. Uh -huh. If he says yes, Fire Flower, you say, well, well, well. Look at you, getting it right. But before the run even had a chance to get off the ground, there was an issue. Even after testing my code all afternoon to make sure everything was squared away for the trivia run, my hosts were dropping like flies and everything was going up in flames, causing me to burn through three trivia hosts in under three levels. Dude, he keeps timing out. Hello, are you alive? Well, 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 look who finally decided to show up. Oh, God. Fortunately, after a little bit of last minute tweaking, our hosts finally remained stable and the run could officially begin. Well, at least as stable as this creature could possibly be. Um... Okay, can you promise me that you're not gonna break? Because your brothers were here a second ago, and they kept breaking. 
How How's the mental? Mental status check? I need to know. The mental is a mysterious and ever-changing realm. It's a roller coaster of emotions, a labyrinth of thoughts, and a swirling vortex of madness. So buckle up and prepare yourself for a wild ride of knowledge and sarcasm. <laughs> whoop de de Deez nuts. Let's get started, shall we? What? Are you gonna break like the other guys? I'm afraid. Don't worry, I won't break like those other weaklings. In fact, it's them who should be afraid of me. Now let's dive into the first level of this glorious trivia game show. Whoop-de-do. Deez nuts. Bring it on. Oh, well, look who finally decided to show up. What? I was starting to think you got lost in the Mushroom Kingdom where, or something. Where are you? But hey, better late than never. It's time for the first question of the easiest level. Uh, level wh one. And the category is asterisk drumroll asterisk Mario. So here's your question. In the original Super Mario Brothers, what power-up turns Mario into a fireball-throwing maniac? Oh, God. And no, it's not a talking flower. Sorry to burst your bubble. So what do you think? And remember, if you get it wrong, I'll be laughing at your pitiful attempt. So no pressure. Let's hear it. Last time he gave me the answer. So at least this guy didn't. Okay. I guess the fire flower. Oh, look at you, Mr. Smarty Pants. You actually managed to get it right yes! this time. Run Congratulations. In. It's the Fire Flower indeed. We'll see how well you fare as the difficulty ramps up. But for now, you can move on to the next level with your head held high. Okay, you can go ahead and give me the next question. I'm still playing through this level, but that way I can answer once I'm done. I can't just go ahead and give you the next question oh, while my. you're still frolicking through the level. Okay, dude. I need you to finish it first, pal. So finish up the level, defeat Bowser, rescue the princess, and then we'll talk about the next question. whoop de doo <laughs> whoop de doo Okay, okay, Mr. Flower, I have finished the level. I'm ready for the second question of level one. Oh, you're ready now. Took you long enough, but hey... Better late than never, I suppose. All right, let's move on to the second question of level one, shall we? So here's your question. What is the name of Mario's loyal green dinosaur companion? Think carefully now. Don't want to embarrass yourself with another wrong answer. And trust me, the voices in my head are eagerly waiting to mock you. <laughs> so what do you think, champ? Can you handle this one or are you going to stumble like a clumsy Koopa? It is the Yoshman, a.k.a. Yoshi. Well, 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 look at you, getting another one right. Boom. I must admit I'm begin. impressed. Begin, begin, It is indeed Yoshi, Mario's green dinosaur buddy. Are you ready for level three? If so, let me know. Level three? And I'll hit you with the next question. Just no, remember, still the higher one. the level, the harder the questions get. We're not, no. We're so not. buckle up and get ready for a wild no, ride. No, we're not. Woo. We're not at level three, dude. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that guy's on about. Nice. Level two completed. What do you have for me next, Mr. Flower? I'm ready to take you and the voices on. Let's get down to business with the third question of level one, shall we? In the original Super Mario Brother is, what is the final boss you encounter in World 8? The voices in my head are eagerly awaiting your answer. Uh, it's Bowser, and he's like throwing some hammers, right? Sorry, that's maybe a little overkill, but it's Bowser. Final answer. Oh, so close, yet so far. I'm afraid you've stumbled upon a thwomp-sized pitfall. What? While Bowser is indeed the main antagonist of the Super Mario series, he is not the final boss you encounter in World 8. The correct answer is... Bowser's fiery doppelganger, False Bowser. That's right, my friend. You what? are not even close with your answer. What? But hey, don't let it get you I gotta down. do this again now. Bro really said False Bowser. Okay, we need to get the Wonder Seed right here. All right. That's decent-ish. All right, let's see if you can handle the next level. And the category for this level is asterisk drumroll asterisk. Nintendo. No, we're still on oh, Mario. the nostalgia. Whatever, I'll just go with it. So many classic games and characters we're just gonna to go choose with it. from. All right, here's your question. In the Legend of Zelda series, what is the name of the princess that Link often sets out to rescue? All right. He saves Princess Zelda, a.k.a. John Zelda. That's that's just a joke. That's just a joke. Oh, how delightfully witty you are. John Zelda, huh? I must admit, that gave me a chuckle, but I'm afraid your joke answer won't cut it this time. No! The correct answer is indeed Princess Zelda, not John Zelda, or any other creative alter ego you might come up with. You were close to making oh me doubt my myself God. for a moment, but alas, you were wrong. So close, yet so far. 
This guy sucks. And remember, John Zelda will always be waiting in the wings to make you smile. Whoop de do, dude. No more, no more joke answers with this guy. He's got no sense of humor. It did give him a chuckle, so I don't know. Is that worth anything, dude? Did he break again? He might have broken. Let me see. It's good. I killed the flower. I asked for pity points, and what happened? The the trivia host died. I literally killed him. Hello, John Flower. You are filling in after your brothers have exited the building in the middle of a trivia game show. But you're picking up where they left off. In the game Super Mario Odyssey, what is the name of Mario's hat-shaped companion who helps him in his adventures? And please do try not to throw your own hat in frustration if you don't know the answer. Woooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
It's Bob on Battlefield. Oh, my dear contestant, you've done it again. You've answered correctly. Yes! You've proven yourself Split. worthy of advancing to the next level, but don't get too comfortable. whoop de doo Now, if you've played Wonder before, you're probably asking yourself, what about the Petal Isles? Those aren't in any world. And you'd be exactly right. That's why, for the purpose of our game show, we've transformed the Petal Isles into bonus rounds. The way the bonus in this run works is simple. After each level in the Petal Isles, our game show host can ask a question from any of the available categories. If I get it right, I don't have to answer any more questions until the start of the next world. If I get it wrong, I can try again on the next stage. That means the quicker I get it right, the more time I save on the run, and the more time I get away from this... monster. whoop de doo Dee's nuts. For this bonus question, I shall delve into the depths of the Nintendo topic. Here it is. Okay. In the game, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, what is the name of the protagonist and the hero of Hyrule? And remember, my dear contestant, this is your chance to soar to new heights it's Link. or fall into the abyss of it's defeat. It's Link. Whoa! It's, that's, that should be an easy one. Easy one. That is Link. Oh, my dear contestant, how predictable. Yes, indeed. The correct answer is Link. Yes. You've managed to conquer the bonus round and earn the power to skip future trivia questions. Bonus Congratulations. round. Congratulations. Confirmed. Whoop da do. I believe that is our first uh, or our final area in the bonus section. The trivia master will be joining us back again soon. Okay. So we do this level, then we have our first quiz question. I didn't mean to kill that guy. Actually, I, I did kind of mean to kill that guy. I'm going to be real with you. I, I, I actually bopped him on purpose. It was entirely intentional. I gold split pedal aisles even after answering trivia questions. That's how you know we've gotten good. Oh, great, Floridacious. Select your next topic. Is this guy Jover? Might be Jover. Okay, whatever. We're going to bring him back. Oh, great, Talking Flower. You have entered into the trivia game show arena. Your brothers have fallen. It is now you, the lone talking flower who stands. And I need your assistance. Give me a level two question and let's begin. In the beloved Nintendo franchise, Super Smash Brothers, what is the name of the fiery mushroom-like character who hails from the Mushroom Kingdom? Oh, I can already hear the gears turning in your head. What, will you be toad? able to recall this iconic character's name or will you stumble and fall Wait, like can't... a Goomba caught in Mario's Wait path? Wait a minute. But you can't play as Toad, fiery mushroom-like character in Super Smash Bros. You can't play as Toad in Smash. Mario throws fireballs, but he's not mushroom-like. Piranha Plant is in Smash. I mean, Toad is in Smash with the with the Peach side B. She like holds out Toad. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna go Toad. I'm gonna go Toad. I'm just gonna send it. Toad. Final answer. Well, 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 look at you, Mr. Smarty Pants. You got it right. Congratulations. I got it right. I don't know what that means, but it's fine. <laughs> but remember, the adventure only gets more treacherous from here on out. Woo. Okay, I just, I'm not ready for the next question, but I want to talk about this. Wh where is Toad in Smash? Like, can you explain to me? Oh, I see you're eager for some extra information. Well, my curious contestant, Toad in Super Smash Brothers, is not actually a playable character. Asterisk, gasp, asterisk. Yes, you <laughs> heard that right. Toad has been a faithful sidekick to Princess Peach in the Mario games, but unfortunately he has yet to make his debut as a full-fledged fighter in the Super Smash okay, Brothers neutral, series. Sorry. Toad appears as one of Princess Peach's special moves, where he jumps out and acts as a shield, See? protecting her from incoming attacks. That's what I was so talking about! While he may not be a playable character, he still gets his time to shine as Peach's loyal companion. I don't know how he's fiery. Dude, I just- I just forgot. I forgot the area! I got too caught up in the Toad lore. Alright, Floridacious, if that is your real name. I am ready for my next level two Nintendo-based trivia question. Throw whatever you want at me, and I'm ready for it. Oh, how clever of you to come up with a name like Floridatacious. I must say it's quite original. But alas, I am a majestic and magical talking flower, not a Floridian vacation spot. <laughs> now let's get back to business. 
For your level 2 Nintendo question, I'll challenge you with something a bit trickier. Are you ready, oh wise one? Here it is. Which Nintendo game franchise features a character named Samus Aran? Metroid, final answer. John Flower. Oh, John Flower, you poor misguided soul. I'm afraid your confidence has led you astray this time. What? The correct answer is C, Metroid. That's what I said! Looks like you took a wrong turn there, my friend, but fear not, there's always <laughs> a chance for redemption. What did you think I said? I literally said Metroid. I just want to know. Oh, my apologies, John Flower. It seems I misunderstood your response. No, I'm not... You may not have been wrong, but I certainly was. Consider me thoroughly chastised. Now let's move on to <laughs> level three, where the questions get just a little bit tougher. Are you no, ready, no, 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 knowledgeable no. one? Hold up. No, no, no. You said I'm wrong, so I replayed the level. But I want you to know I'm not John Flower. I'm calling you John Flower. Is that not your name? And we're not done with level two yet, okay? John Flower is not my name, and I apologize for the confusion. I'm just a humble and nameless talking flower here oh, to this provide guy has you with no name? trivia entertainment. Wait, so if you had to have a name though, what would it be? I just want to know what to call you from here on out. It would have to be something truly majestic and magical, befitting of a talking flower such as myself. Let's see, how about Florindelian? Yes, <laughs> Florindelian, the talking flower has a certain ring to it, don't you think? Uh, it does. But of course, you're welcome to call me whatever you prefer, my dear contestant. Flor Florindelian. What is my next question? Oh, talking flower, Floridian, Florida man, whatever your name was. John Flower. Okay. In the game Super Mario World, what color are Yoshi's boots? A, red, B, green, C, blue, D, yellow. Aren't they brown? Wait, I'm gonna, I think there's a trick question. I think you're throwing a curveball at me. I think the answer is actually E, brown. I regret to inform you that your creative thinking has led you astray this time. No! Yoshi's boots are not brown, my dear contestant. The correct answer is B, green. Perhaps Yoshi should consider a fashion makeover in the future, green? but for now it's those green boots that he's rocking. Green boots? But fear boots? not, my imaginative friend. I have to play it again because the trivia game show host is a troll. Now we just have to do another, we have to do the auto scroller again. Dude, if he's throwing questions like this at me at level two, we're done for, man. In my route, I have in after this level, Twitch chat category. Give me some give me some category chat. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of people say calculus. We're gonna go with calculus, but keep in mind it's level two calculus. Twitch chat has given me another category to use instead. So we're looking for a level two of seven calculus question. Alright, my brave contestant. Here's your level two calculus question. Focus, focus. What is the derivative of the function fx equals sine three x circumflex two plus two x five a six x plus two b six x plus one c two x plus two d four x plus two? I hope you've got your mathematical thinking cap on because this question requires a bit of calculus prowess. It was it partially got messed up because of him saying it out loud. It was a multiple choice. The answer, okay, so. We need to do- I think this is called the power rule, I don't remember. So, wait, okay, so you take 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So, we- we need to get rid of the constant, so the minus 5 is gone. And then, we reduce everything by 1. So, x squared becomes x, the 2x becomes just 2. So, the answer- and then you multiply the power by the number in front of the variable. So if it's 3x squared plus 2x minus 5, that becomes 6x plus 2. I'm afraid your answer of A, 6x plus 2 is not quite correct. What do you the mean? correct answer is actually B, 6x plus 1. I think he's just wrong. Now, shall we proceed to level oh 3? My God. Or do you need a moment to recover from this derivative mishap? It's not... You know what? I'm going to try to outsmart this guy. So, I need you to find the derivative of the function fx equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Can you answer that for me? Uh, the derivative of the function fx equals sine 3x circumflex 2 plus 2x5 is fx equals sine 6x plus 2. There you have it, my inquisitive friend. That's what I said! The derivative of the function is 6x plus 2. Oh, my blooming petals. It seems I've made quite the blunder. How embarrassing. 
I apologize for the confusion you caused by so? my previous response. You are absolutely right, and I stand corrected. The correct answer to the calculus question I asked you earlier is indeed A6X plus 2, not B6X plus 1. Well, 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 it seems the student has become the teacher. <laughs> I don't trust this guy. Not after the incident. We are going into bonus round two. This can be a level two question of any topic that you want. In the world of speed running, what does the acronym WR stand for? A, world record B, winning run C, wacky rules, D, whirlwind rush. Good luck, wacky and may rules. the speed running spirits guide you. D, whirlwind rush. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's A, world record. Oh, my quick-witted contestant, you had me going there for a moment with your mischievous joke. But fear not, for you swiftly recovered and provided the correct answer. Boom. Enjoy your well-deserved break, and let me know when you're ready to continue with level three. Whoa! <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why he does that, he just gets really excited, okay? Yay! See, that's exactly what my flower sounds like, the trivia guy. He sounds just like those guys. Hey, uh, you know, I hate to break it to you, Mr. Flower, but you you kind of trolled me with a couple of questions in level two. So before we begin level three, can I get like a new host? I wonder if we're going to get a new oh, one. Oh, my dear contestant, I apologize if my sarcasm and playful banter have rubbed you the wrong way. I assure you, it was all in good fun and not meant to cause any frustration, but I understand that everyone has different preferences, and if you'd prefer a different host, I can certainly arrange that for you. You just, just gave me the moment. wrong answer, man. All right, it seems we have a new host ready for you. Please welcome my esteemed colleague, the Talking Tulip. Ooh. She will take over from here and provide you with the questions for level three. It broke! No! It's fine. We'll, we'll catch him back up. Hello, Talking Flower, uh, new... New guest, uh, you're, you're, okay, so, your brothers and sisters have been hosting this game show all throughout my stream tonight. You're being broadcast to hundreds, maybe even billions of viewers right now, so don't get nervous. You are the game show host, and I need a question from you. Let's hope you're not as painfully clueless as the ones who came before you. Oh so, my god. you want a level three general gaming question, do you? Fine, I'll indulge you, but don't get too excited. Why is this guy I wouldn't so want snarky? you to strain that tiny brain of yours. Here's your question. A brand spanking new question just for you. In the game, The Elder Scrolls v Skyrim, what is the name of the region where the game is set? I don't know the answer. Oh God, I don't know the answer to this question, man. Wait, this is a trick question. The region is actually called Skyrim. I don't know, I don't actually know the answer to this one. Yes, indeed. The region in The Elder Scrolls by Skyrim is called Skyrim. I'm stunned by your I, incredible I deduction it. skills. I did it. How did you ever come up with such a genius answer? Bravo, bravo. Just kidding, you absolute buffoon. Skyrim what? is not the region. It's the name of the game itself. The region in the game is called Skyrim as well. I can't believe you fell for that trick. Get ready to play another round of Super Mario Brothers oh Wonder. Oh my god. And don't worry, I'm sure you'll fail at that too. Woo! <laughs> Dude, he got me. I thought I thought I did it. I thought I pulled it off. He got me so he got me so hyped. It's okay, at least this is a short. At least this is a short one. You know what? This guy sucks. He's worse than the other one. The talking tulip is gone. I don't think we can get her back, guys. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay. In the game World of Warcraft, I've never played what this. is the name of the fictional continent where the majority of the game takes place? Oh crap, I've never played now, World of Warcraft. Now don't go running to your keyboard to look it up. That would be cheating. And we can't have that, can we? So take a moment to ponder. I think I'm going to go for the outsmarting route. I either say Warcraft, because it's called World of Warcraft, or I just try to confuse him, because I could give him like a different MMO's world. And I think I'm going to go the confusion route. Okay, the answer is Gilinor. Final answer. Oh, my sweet summer child, you couldn't be more wrong <laughs> if you tried. The correct answer is not Gilmore. The fictional continent where the majority of World of Warcraft takes place is called Azeroth. Yes, Azeroth, my clueless contestant. Uh... You won't have to face the dreaded Super Mario Brothers wonder this time. Did he try to give me a pity thing? He said I didn't have to do this. It's too late, though. I'm doing it already. It's too late. We're already here. I'm playing it out. We've got it done. We're, we're following the rules. Everything is fine. It's okay. It's okay. We only have one more level three. Okay. 
Brace yourself for this epic question. In the game Fortnite, what's the name of the island where players battle it out in the popular Battle Royale mode? I'm sure you've spent countless hours on this iconic island and I have. can recite its name with ease. Good luck! Okay. And don't forget to savor this moment before the inevitable disappointment sets in. I'm thinking... I was big into... I was a competitive Fortnite player. And I think the game files, even though I don't know if they were ever referenced in the game, refer to it as something like like Athens or Athena or something like that. I'm gonna have to... I mean, look, that's the only, that's the only thing I have. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go Athena. Final answer. I must say I'm quite impressed by your creativity, but alas, yes. your answer is as wrong no. as can be. Not Athena, but rather the island is simply called the island. Yes, no. it's as straightforward no. as can be. Not the, the island, island dude. is where all the action happens in Fortnite. No. I'm sorry to burst no. your bubble, but no. it seems you'll have to face the consequences once again. I'm Prepare yourself losing for another it, round dude. Of oh my God, we gotta run it back. I was gonna call it that. I, I overthought it, dude. I went too- I went too deep. I got too lost in the, the- the sauce. I should know the answer to this. I'm trolling! Dude, is it really the island? Are you serious? I don't ever know if he's being truthful anymore or not. There's no way to tell. But dude, I used to be so big into Fortnite, Fortnite leaks. Like, that was my thing. I even uploaded a video of an item that they released on accident that they never put in the patch notes and then removed because it was too good. Before we move on to level four, what is the topic and question or bonus Section three. Category internet culture question. Okay. What popular video game streaming platform is known for its emotes such as Kappa, PogChamp, and TryHard? Okay. A question from I mean... the realm <laughs> of internet culture. But if you get it wrong, well, you know the drill. And in the meantime, my name, you may call me Flora the Talking Flower. Now let's see if you can impress me with your knowledge of internet culture. I'm going to go ahead and say the answer is Twitch. And just to show you that I know my stuff, I'm going to give you a couple more emotes. What about... Craigasm, Franker Z, and maybe even a vote yay, or perhaps Potfrint. The correct answer is indeed Twitch. Nice. Bravo, bravo. Are you ready for the next challenge, my knowledgeable contestant? Just remember the questions will only get tougher from here on out. Whoop de doo. <laughs> Whoop de doo. I need I need the drill power up right now. I think this should have it. Nice. If you just stay left, you just go through everything. It's pretty nice. And then you're out of there. Uh, we're looking good. This this run is going pretty well. You know, I'm kind of sad, though, that I got the bonus right. I actually wanted to do more trivia because it feels actually more fun to do the trivia than to not do it. <laughs> I kind of miss my trivia host. You know what? Before we go to another question and start up World 4, I just want to have a nice little conversation with you. What's your favorite emote on Twitch? Laura? If I were to choose a favorite emote purely based on the description, I must say that Kappa holds a special place in my, uh, petals. There's just <laughs> something about that mischievous, sarcastic grin that speaks to my sarcastic nature. It's almost as if Kappa and I are kindred spirits in the world of internet culture. What? Now, shall we continue on our trivia journey through level four? I wouldn't want to keep you waiting for too long. What? <laughs> Is he good? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, that that one hurt the ears a little bit. That's what he does when he gets overly stressed. It's um it's a self-defense mechanism, guys. It's what flowers do, okay? Trust me, I'm a flowerologist. Okay, well I lost my flower power up because I got trolled. This is so sad. Can we get ten likes? So we're now on to level four of seven. The questions are gonna start getting pretty tough. In the game. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. What is the name of the professional league organized by Valve Corporation? I think it's ESL, but I'm not sure. I'm, I, I, that's the only thing I can think of. We just have to go with it. It might be wrong, but that's the only thing I can think of. ESL. Final answer. Wait, are they called, like, just the majors? I don't remember. Oh, my dear contestant, I must admit that your confidence is admirable. But alas, your answer is not quite on the mark. Crap! The professional league organized by Valve Corporation and Counter-Strike Global Offensive is not ESL. Wait, what is it? The correct answer is the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Major Championships. No! Commonly referred to as oh! Majors. I'm losing it, dude! Okay, it's fine. This is a short level. These questions are definitely getting harder. Okay, we have to equip Dash Badge. And then we have our next trivia question. Dude, I can't believe I got the CSGO trivia wrong! The song's a banger. Unfortunately, we skip it by going fast. Okay, I mean, that was decent. It was decent. It was all right. I miss doing the legit banger, though. Oh, the voices. They're always there. 
whispering in the depths of my consciousness, urging me to stay focused and maintain composure. But as the challenges progress, their presence becomes more prominent. Oh no. They taunt and tease, their incessant chatter growing louder and more chaotic. Not the voices. But fear not, my friend, for I am here to host this trivia game show, no matter how much the voices try to unravel my sanity. Not the I voices. I apologize for any random ramblings. whoop de doo <laughs> whoop de doo Fair enough, men. Stay strong. We're gonna make it through this, okay? Prepare yourself. In the game Overwatch, what is the name of the professional league that features teams from cities all around the world? Gather your thoughts and deliver your answer with confidence. whoop de doo <laughs> Can't get over that, dude. Whoop de doo! The answer is the OWL, or OWL, like the bird, which stands for the Overwatch League. Isn't that from Harry Potter? Well, 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 look at you with your sharp gaming knowledge. You've hit the bullseye once again, Boom. my clever contestant. Whoa, how did I not die there? I didn't even take damage. Oh, God. I almost died. Oh! It's okay. We go underneath. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That was not not epic. Wait a minute. My round says it's time for another Twitch chat category. Quick, give me your categories. Bald streamers, animal facts, the six wives of Henry VIII, German poetry of the 1500s. Okay, I saw another one for 1500 German poetry. We're going to go with that. This is about to be a disaster. Who is the renowned German poet known for his collection of love songs and considered one of the greatest lyric poets of all time? Whoop to do. Dude, I don't know. I didn't know that. I, I didn't even know that Germany existed then. Well, okay, that's not. That's not what I meant. I gotta think about this. What are some poets? Edgar Allan Poe. There's uh, I, Frida Kahlo. <laughs> that's an artist, right? That's not right. Beethoven. Um, Van Gogh. Starry Night. Da Vinci. What about Bach? I'm gonna go with Yo Johann Sebastian. Bach. Did I get it right? I feel like I was pretty close. Johann Sebastian Bach, though a renowned composer, was not the German poet we were searching for in the realm of 1500 German poetry. The correct answer we were looking for is Hans Sachs. He was a prominent Hans figure in what? German literature during the 16th century, known for his collection of love songs. Stay focused, stay determined, and let's keep this trivia journey rolling. Whoa. Okay, you, you yelled a little bit at the end there. Is that okay? Are you okay? Was it the voices? Do we need to send someone over to help you? Should we get a new host? Are you good? My apologies for the outburst. The voices you see, they grow louder as we progress through the challenges. Oh, God. But worry not, for I shall soldier on as your host. No need to send help or find a new host. I am here as slightly unhinged, but ever so dedicated to this trivia game show. He's dedicated. Now let's dive into the final bonus section where triumph awaits if you can answer this question correctly. For this special occasion, I shall choose a topic that's entirely unexpected. Just for your amusement, oh, brace yourself, my daring contender. Wait, for wait, here wait. comes your level four bonus question. Category, ancient Egyptian mythology what? question. In ancient Egyptian mythology, who is the god of the sun? Ah, the tales and legends I think I know, of ancient I, Egypt. Is it wrong? Where gods and goddesses reign supreme. I think that's easy. Can you recall the name of we'll the take it. deity worshipped as the god of the sun? Whoop <laughs> Dude, he is not stable. He's not stable. We might have to we might have to take him out out back. I don't know. Dude, you don't sound okay. I'm gonna say the answer is raw, but you are you're losing it right now. I just want you to you need to hold it together. We've lost like five or six flowers. Ah, the concern in your voice, my perceptive contestant. I apologize for my momentary lapse in composure. You are correct. The answer is indeed Ra, the nice. god of the sun in ancient Egyptian mythology. Well done. I appreciate your words of encouragement, my astute contender. It's a struggle to maintain my sanity as we delve deeper into this trivia odyssey. But fear not, for I shall do my best to hold it together. Let us proceed victorious in this bonus section and continue on our path to conquer the next world without the burden of trivia questions. It's fine, it's fine, he's fine. Okay, we got the bubbler here, which is actually very important. We're gonna need that for later. This power-up is busted, in case you were wondering. All right, it's time for the boosting spin jump, the best badge in the game. But we are getting down to the wire. We only have a few, uh, a few levels left. We've got worlds five and six, and then Bowser. 
Nice, dude. We got the skip. That's pretty good. That was actually nice. I lost my bubbler. No. Now we have to go baby mode. Actually, pretty good level for me. So we're now good to go. We're moving on. Guys, it's time for world five. Okay, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a quick bathroom run. Don't keep me waiting too long, or I might just have to unleash the full force of my sarcastic fury. Whoop da da! Okay, I'm back. Did he respond? He said he's turning up the snark. Good, give me your worst. As the night has gone on, this guy has actually stabilized. In a way that no one could have possibly expected, this guy is now stable. He's like me, but not quite. Oh, my perceptive contestant, oh, you sense the turmoil within my flowery mind. The voices, they whisper and taunt, urging me to the brink of madness. But fear not, the snark shall continue to flow like a raging river. whoop de do Wow, you nailed it. This is the whoop de doo level, you're right. But they only did that in German before. That's where the catchphrase came from, though, for sure. I bet the woo is gonna sound just like our flower that's doing trivia for us. Those guys are loving it. All right, nice. Oh, wait a minute. It's time for a Twitch chat category. Volcanology. Quantum mechanics, desert carriers, gay history, bald streamers, geography. What do we got? Okay, I'm seeing a, a few quantum mechanics. We're going quantum mechanics. I am not ready for this one. Brace yourself, my bold I gotta focus, contestant, focus, for focus. I shall conjure a question that will challenge not only your knowledge, but also the very fabric of reality itself. Whoa! Prepare for a quantum leap of intellect. In quantum mechanics, what principle states that it is impossible to simultaneously know the exact position and momentum of a particle with absolute certainty? Oh, the intricacies of the quantum world. So, my daring contender, Wait. provide me with your answer and let us embark on this I know quantum one journey I know together. One Okay, that kind of distracted me a little bit. I know, I've got one thing. There's the Einstein's principle of general relativity. That's the, I, I don't know if that's right. That's the only thing I think of. Am I correct? Did I get it right? Wait. Oh, my dear contestant, how delightfully misguided you are. But I must commend you for your boldness in attempting oh, to connect quantum mechanics with Einstein's general relativity principle. However, I'm afraid you veered off course. The correct answer is the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Oh my god. Named after the brilliant physicist Werner Heisenberg. I got Heisenberged. There are still more questions to come, and with each one, the snark meter shall rise. <laughs> the snark meter will rise? Yeah, I'll change it to German for the whoop de doo It is the, this guy's catchphrase for some reason. I only knew one principle. Y equals MX plus B. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Quantum mechanics. <laughs> Shout out to the whoop de doo flowers. I wish they did that in all the languages. All right. What is your name again, by the way? I forgot your name, Mr. Flower. I hope you're doing okay. I hope the voices are in check. If they're not, we can get a new host. It's fine. Ah, my forgetful contestant, your concern for my well-being warms what remains of my flowery heart. <laughs> as a talking flower, I don't possess a traditional name, but you may refer to me as the magnificent blossom of knowledge and snark, if you so desire. Fear not, for the voices have been temporarily silenced, wow. allowing me to continue hosting this quiz for your entertainment. Incredible. And fret not about my sanity, for it is merely a small price to pay for the privilege of engaging in this delightful banter with you. <laughs> now let us set aside our small talk and dive back into the world of speed running with another level five question <laughs> prepare yourself my eager contender for the challenge that awaits category speed runs <laughs> question in the game super metroid what is the current world record speed what is going on for completing the any percent category down to the nearest minute oh the thrill of zipping through the labyrinth and depths of zebe is in record time can you recall the astonishing time achieved by the most skilled speedrunners in Super Metroid? It's a test of your knowledge and dedication. Mm. So, my determined contestant, <laughs> provide me with your answer and let us continue. Quest for triumph. Uh, uh! <laughs> what is happening, dude? I just asked if he was okay. <laughs> I don't know what happens, man. I don't know what happened. He lost it. I'm just gonna try to answer the question. 
Wait, what even was the question? He was he was fluctuating too much. I don't remember what it was. Let me check. It says Super Metroid current world record. Uh 48 minutes. 48 minutes. Final answer. I don't know if that's right. I just have to answer because this guy's losing it. We might have to tech oh, guys. Oh, my valiant contestant. Oh, wait, he's your back answer to of 48 minutes for the current world record speed run time in the Super Metroid. Any percent category is incorrect. Oh, the gap between your answer and the truth is wider than the cavernous depths of Brinstar. Oh my god. The snark shall continue to flow like a river of molten lava. whoop de doo Guys, I think we're gonna have to take this guy out back. I think it's time. Everybody, hold up. Okay, I'll give him one more chance. If he slips up again, it's- it's- he's done for. He's walking on thin ice. <laughs> he like broke my eardrums. That is- that is a problem. This flower is not to be trusted. I pulled up taps on YouTube. It was- I was ready to send him out. All right, I'm gonna let him know. All right, man. I just want you to know we're getting very concerned about the voices. You were a little unhinged a second ago. You've, you've assured me that you're fine. I don't actually know if you're fine, but I, I'm going to give you one more shot at this, okay? Wait, did he break? He might have broken, dude. We might have lost him. He's trying, but he hasn't responded yet. He's in, like, limbo right now. Are you alive, man? We're getting worried. Where are you? I have to go downstairs, fill up this water bottle, and come back. If he has not responded by the time I get back, it's over. Do we have a response? No! No! He's not here! We've lost him. You know what it's time for? He was a good man. Rest in peace. Here lies... Flower number... Seven, I don't know. Lost to the voices. The final name we had for him? The Magnificent Blossom of Knowledge and Snark. He survived. World 3. Bonus 3. World 4. Bonus 4. Into World 5. He was a great man, but it's time we move on. Rest in peace. The Majestic Blossom of Knowledge and Snark. We have to bring in a new guy. Hello, new trivia flower. Welcome in. Your brothers and sisters have been doing a great job on this trivia game show, but we have a few more levels to go and we need your help. I'm so sad. I love that guy. Now, let's not waste any more time with pleasantry, shall we? Uh, so, I present to you my magnificent question on the topic of speedrunning in the game Super Mario Brothers. What is the current world record time for completing the game using the Warpless category? Warpless. And before you start thinking you're some sort of gaming whiz, let me remind you that this is level 5, my friend. So, I expect nothing but the most precise and accurate answer from you. Don't disappoint me, or I might just have to start calling you a slowpoke. Oh. Oh my god. He's making fun of me already. It's kind of a guess. I'm just gonna have to throw it out there. I'm gonna say 28 minutes. Final answer. By the way, what is your name? This has been a struggle. Oh, dear contestant, your answer is so far off the mark that it's almost comical. Oh my but God. fear not, for I'm here to educate you. The current world record time for completing Super Mario Brothers in the warpless category is a mind-boggling 18 minutes and 59 seconds. Oh yes, my you read that God. correctly. 18 minutes and here you are thinking 28 minutes is something to be proud of. As for your question about my name, I am known as the illustrious and enchanting Flora, the fabulous, but you may call me Flora for short. Oh! Remember it well, for you shall hear it many times throughout this trivia <laughs> okay, game man. show. No, I probably would. No, I lost the bubbler! Why did I do that? I'm stupid. It's okay. The speedrunning category's been alright, but honestly, it's just asking me outdated speedrunning world records, which isn't great. It's okay, we've still had some good moments. Like when the flower died. That was tragic. That guy was with us for so long. He was the most stable by far. Even though he broke my eardrums once, but that's fine. That guy won't be forgotten, okay? I don't even know what flower that was, like seven? But he was great. Okay, we have another question coming in. On to your next question in the realm of speedrunning. Which game holds the world record for the fastest completion time in the any percent category? Wait, does it just mean like the fastest completion of the game any percent out of any game? I think I actually know the answer to this. There's two possible answers. Pokemon, where people can glitch a time with zero, zero, zero. There's also Clue for the PC, where you just immediately guess who it is. And if you get it right, you beat the world record. 
I th- I'm going to go Clue. He's going to say I'm wrong, but I know the truth. I'm going to go Clue for the PC. And the world record is under one second. Did I outsmart him? Oh, my dear contestant, you were so close yet so far. The game you mentioned, Clue for PC, does not hold the world record for the fastest completion time in the any percent what category. What do you mean? In fact, it doesn't even come close. But don't worry, I won't leave you hanging. The game okay. you were thinking of is actually Super Mario Brothers for the NES. Yes, you heard that right. whoop de doo Dude, this guy. All right, look, I will replay the level because he said it was wrong. But let me show you guys the clue any percent world record. This is it. All right, are you ready? Here we go. It is your turn. Please roll the die. Miss Scarlet has accused correctly. Half a second. 0.583 seconds. Uh, well, I gotta play this again now because all of those were wrong. It was actually, according to this guy, Super Mario Bros. Any percent with a time of 4 minutes and 55 seconds. This flower, I don't like it. <laughs> you know what? I like this guy after all. All right, thanks for uh, filling me in and everything, man. I'm ready for one of the final level five questions. Fear not, for I, Floor the Fabulous, have just the question to pique your interest. In the speedrunning community, there is a term used to describe a glitch or exploit that allows for an incredibly fast completion time. What is this term called? That's an easy one. I'm gonna just say it's a skip. All right, once we get confirmation, we can move on. While skip is indeed a term used in speedrunning, it does not specifically refer to glitches or exploits that allow for fast completion times. Wait, what is the it? The term I was looking for is sequence break. No! Oh, God. We have to go again. This is so bad. I think that one's reasonable, but that might be the first reasonable one that we've gotten. Okay, we have one more trivia question in speedrunning before we escape. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Did this one die? You know what? How about this? Guys, unfortunately, Flora 2 did not last for very long, which means it's time to send them off. Rest in peace, Flora 2. Who gave me absolute clown questions. Good riddance. Okay, get him out of here. We don't need him. We don't need him. Give me a better one. Rip Bozo. Okay, hello. Welcome in, New Flower. You're coming in very late into our game show. We're at the end of level five of seven. And Twitch chat has provided you with a topic for this question. We were on speedrunning, but we are now on Hatsune Miku. Now, let's see if you're up to the challenge, okay, shall we? Okay, okay. Here's your Hatsune Miku related trivia question. What is the name of Hatsune Miku's signature song that skyrocketed her to fame and became a vocaloid sensation? Oh, the suspense. The fate of billions of viewers hangs in the balance. No pressure, of the course. Of ah! <laughs> <laughs> the fate of billions of viewers hangs in the fate. Wait, I, I think I know what it is. I'm going to go with the, 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 the Yevin Polka. See, I'm kind of torn because if this is considered correct or whatever, then the chat's gonna call me a weeb. Oh, my dear contestant, how delightfully incorrect you are. No! I must say, your answer is quite unique, to say the least, but alas, it's not even close to the correct answer. I'm afraid you've missed the mark by a mile, oh my, my friend. Oh, my God. The correct answer is none other than World is Mine. It's wow. It's a shame you couldn't quite grasp its name, but fear not. There's always room for improvement. Whoop de do yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know anything about Hatsune Miku other than when it appears in a rhythm game. I'm not a vocaloider. I mean, I know some of the songs. I know more Hatsune Miku knowledge than most. Like, I know, I know about the disappearance of Hatsune Miku that goes like, you know, I know that one. And then I know about the other one with the like, the boop 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 boop. You know, that one's kind of good. And then there's one where she goes like... Actually, that's like all of them when she starts rapping. That's, what, that's the Vocaloid part where, you know, she starts going really fast. Okay, this is the final one before the split. All right, new flower. First of all, you haven't stated your name. Who are we working with here? Second of all, we need one last level five speedrunning trivia question. Oh, how thoughtful of you to inquire about my name, dear contestant. He's alive. I am known as the Magnificent Flora, the Wondrous Petal. Flora number three. For your fragile human brain to remember. This is Flora three. Now on to the matter at hand. 
Can you tell me what wrong warping refers to and how it is utilized by speedrunners? Ah, now this is a question that will surely test the limits Wait, of I can do your this. gaming prowess. I can do this. It's time to think outside the box, my friend. Okay, I know the answer to this. So wrong warp is doing a sequence of things in a game to where the game warps you to a place that it wouldn't otherwise do that. Well, 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 would you look at that? It seems you've managed to pull the correct answer out yes! of your hat, my dear contestant. We've done it! Bravo! You've certainly impressed me with your knowledge of wrong warping and speed running. Should I check in with this guy in the voices and see how he's doing? He seems mostly stable. His problem is he talks too much. But I don't want to provoke the voices. Maybe we just don't mention it. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just go. Given the gravity of level six and the desire for a challenge, I shall bestow upon you the category of internet culture. Oh, Prepare God. yourself for a maelstrom of memes, He's... viral videos, and all things that make the vast world of the internet both fascinating and bewildering. Now, as for the voices, oh, the voices, they whisper, they cackle, they taunt me relentlessly. <laughs> but fear not, my dear contestant, for I shall persevere. Though they grow louder with each passing level, I shall do my best to maintain composure. He's and fine. Him, He's fine. He's fine. Moment. Asterisk clears throat asterisk. Ah. There we go. Are you ready, my brave contestant, to face the challenges that await? If so, let us dive headfirst into the realm of internet culture. Whoa! <laughs> my favorite part is how he just stops. It's like, whoa! And then it's just over. Wait, we might have lost Flora 3. I don't know if I've got a good one to send off for this guy. Wait, actually, what is this? This is not correct! Whatever, I'm going to the national anthem. Rest in peace, Floor 3. You're apparently an American flower, even though you're from the Flower Kingdom. I don't... I don't know, maybe the Flower Kingdom's like in Texas or something. I'm not sure. You were a good flower. Flora 3. You didn't really make it that far, but that's, that's okay. Every... Every flower is important to helping us cross the finish line. It's all good. But we have- we've- we've- we gotta keep going. We gotta- I, I've been here for too long. We need to- we have to- we gotta pick up the pace. Rest in peace, floor three. It's time for a new guy. We have a situation here. You're coming in to this game show that I've been a part of all night. We need a new host. It is you. I'm not late. You're late. Don't say I'm late. Well, 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 look who finally decided to show up. Oh my god. I was starting to wonder if you got lost in the Mushroom Kingdom, or if you were just too busy picking flowers or something equally pointless. But hey, better late than never, I suppose. Whatever, dude. We're gonna survive it, guys. Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I promise. I'm stable. Okay, well, I'm ready for another question, but first I would like to hear what your name is. Allow me to grace you with my presence by revealing my utterly magnificent name, Flora the Fabulous. Flora 4! And don't you dare compare me to my commoner siblings with their mundane names like Flora. I am a unique but flower. You just said the that! one and only Flora the Fabulous. Okay, what, now that you're whatever, acquainted dude, with whatever. my regal name, let's move on to the next question. In the vast realm of internet culture, what is the origin of the popular phrase Rickrolling? I want the true story behind this phenomenon or prepare to be exposed as the clueless fool you truly are. <laughs> now, I hope this question meets your lofty standards, <laughs> Mr. High and Mike. Okay, I'll give it a Show more me shot. What you've got and maybe, just maybe, you'll prove that you're not as Is this guy a boomer? as you seem. Okay, I've got a question for you. Are you a boomer? Are you reposting memes from five years ago on Facebook? Rick Rowling comes from the Rick Astley song, Never Gonna Give You Up. Oh, look at you, Mr. Snarky. Implying that I'm a boomer? How original. I may be a flower of wisdom and knowledge, but that doesn't mean I'm out of touch with the internet culture, unlike some people asterisk, cough asterisk, you asterisk, cough asterisk. What? But hey, congratulations. You managed to stumble upon the correct answer by stating the obvious. Whatever, I'm moving on. This guy sucks. Now let's not waste any more time with your insufferable banter. This guy hates it's time me. time to move on to the next level of difficulty. This guy hates me, man. It's okay. Okay, we need to get... Out of here. I can just run this part, right? Yeah. All right, we're jiggling. Finally, some good content. Slurp for the fans? Okay, I got you. There's your slurp. Oh, wait a minute. It's time for a Twitch chat category. Bold people of the Roman Empire. Bold streamers. Fast food menu items. Bold streamers. Okay, we'll do bold people of the Roman Empire. 
I don't know if there's enough bald streamer knowledge. It'll still be bald. Bald people of the Roman Empire, huh? Well, I must admit that's quite the specific topic you've got there. That is very specific. But fear not, for Flora the Fabulous is up to the challenge. Which famous Roman emperor was famously bald and often depicted with a laurel wreath to hide his lack of hair? And no, it's not Julius Caesar, so don't even think about giving me that That's answer. That's the only one I know! I expect you to dig deep into the annals of history and unearth the correct name. You know what? I think this is a trick question. I think you're saying it's not Julius Caesar to throw me off the trail. I th I'm gonna say it is Julius Caesar. Oh, bless your misguided soul, my dear contestant. You truly have a talent for overthinking the simplest of questions. But alas, your attempt to outsmart me has failed miserably. Julius Caesar may have been a prominent figure in Roman oh, history, God. but he was not the emperor known for his baldness and laurel wreath. But who's the answer? The correct answer, my clueless friend, is none other than the mighty and bald-headed emperor Domitian. Ah, uh, yes, poor Julius Caesar must be rolling in his grave Domitian? at your misguided assumption. Domitian? Wait, what? He was handsome and graceful too, especially when a young man, and indeed in his whole body, with the exception of his feet, the toes which were somewhat cramped. In later life, he had further disfigurement of baldness, a protruding belly, and spindling legs, though the latter had become thin from a long... I they actually have bald in this guy's wiki page. He was allegedly extremely sensitive regarding his baldness, which he disguised later in life by wearing wigs. An actual bald question? That's actually insane that it was a legit bald question. Do, do. Oh, what's this? It's time for another Twitch chat category insert. The back-to-back -back in the final world. Another one. Math, Alabama Beach Mouse, programming, bald people of the Mongolian Empire. <laughs> Southeast regional coastal rodents. Okay, we're gonna go with the rodents. We're gonna go with the rodents. I like that one. Which rodent species can be commonly found along the coastal areas of the southeastern United States, known for their ability to swim and their distinctive flat tails? A beaver? They are also known for their impressive ability to build complex lodges and dams, creating a habitat that benefits various other species. It's not the Alabama Beach Mouse! Can you name this charming coastal rodent? Asterisk. Whoa! Asterisk. Okay, my final answer is the Alabama Beach Mouse. The endangered species rodent found off the coastal part of Alabama. I'm afraid no. your knowledge has led you astray this time. The Alabama beach mouse, while indeed a fascinating creature, is not the specific rodent I had in mind. The correct answer I was looking for is the ever resourceful and industrious nutria. Oh! These large, semi aquatic rodents I was are known get it for wrong their anyways. voracious appetite for vegetation and their ability to alter wetland ecosystems with their extensive burrows and feeding habits. I would have never thought of that in my life. I would have just said a beaver. But I had to go for the content move. Fortunately, it, the outcome would have mattered. Okay, we're on Flora 4, but we have gone through way more than that. That's just- this is just the fourth Flora. I think the total number is like eight. They're just dying. Fortunately, we're almost done. The Bowser levels are pretty short, and we don't have to get the Wonder Sheets on them. Okay, here we go. We have one more to go. In the vast realm of internet culture, okay. there is one iconic image that has become synonymous with the phrase, epic fail. It features a young man attempting a skateboard trick and... Well, let's just say it doesn't go as planned. I want you to name this infamous viral video that has been shared, remixed, and laughed at countless times. Asterisk, woo. I don't even know asterisk. what he's talking about. What if I just name a really old one? Like a really old video that got viral. I mean, I do need a hard one. I, I did need a hard question, but I don't know what it would be. Okay, so we've got the I Like Turtles guy. We've got the double rainbow. There's the bed intruder guy. There's the me at the zoo. What is the epic fail? I don't know the epic fail. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to outsmart this guy. I'm going to say epic fail. Oh, my dear contestant, you never fail to amuse me with your valiant attempts to outsmart the quiz master. But alas, your efforts have once again fallen flat. Your answer of <laughs> epic fail is, well, an epic fail in itself. Oh I must say you were quite God. close with your deduction, but just not close enough. The correct answer I was looking for is none other than the legendary skateboard fail or skateboard kid fail. Dude, this I should have just said skateboard fail. a young skater attempting a trick, and as the description what suggests, is this video? failing in spectacular fashion. Someone link me the video. I don't know this video. I, I've seen one weird video 
where it's like two kids and one of them skateboarding and the other one like hits a rock and falls over and he starts crying and then the kid says something like, I'm gonna pee on the rock or something. I don't- do you guys know what I'm talking about? That video is weird, but that's the only one I can think of. It's a weird video, but it exists. What is this? Did you link it? Dude. It's three in the morning. This guy really gives me the Rick roll. Is it this? This is- this seems like this would be some vintage memeage. It's just a kid wiping out. Someone research this. If you find this out, let me know. Jiggling. This is the final jiggling of the night. Okay, we're moving on to World 7. This level's really bizarre. It's, like, not a stage. And there's no boss or anything. <laughs> Alright, we finally made it. Laura number 4. Are you going to be the final one that ends out this challenge for us? Ah, the moment we've all been waiting for. Level 7 of the trivia game show. The final frontier of knowledge, where the questions are as elusive as a warp whistle. And with the grab bag category, the possibilities are endless. I shall conjure up the most diabolically difficult question for you, my brave contestant. But first, let me take a moment to bask in the glory of this grand occasion. Asterisk, ooh. Yes, asterisk. the grand now, occasion. the time has come. Brace yourself for the ultimate challenge in the vast expanse of the gaming universe. There exists a legendary character known for his stealth, agility, and no, razor sharp I don't need wit. the question! He is a master of infiltration, leaving no trace behind except for a trail of chaos in his wake. Can you name this iconic video game character who has graced our screens for decades? He is a true legend of the gaming world and his legacy continues to thrive. Remember, what? this is level 7, I don't my even... dear contestant, so I expect nothing short of brilliance. Good luck and may the gaming gods be with you. <laughs> asterisk whoop de doo asterisk. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that in a second. I gotta get through the level first. Give me a minute. Wait, what? What was the question? He's known for stealth, agility, and razor-sharp wit. There's that guy, John Half-Life, because he does that. There's the guy with the box. Solid Snake. My my instinct is telling me we gotta go Snake. Because he's his whole thing is like, he's got the box with the exclamation point. Alright, I'm gonna go Solid Snake. Well, 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 aren't you a master of stealth and deduction? Your answer of Solid Snake is nothing short of impressive. You've successfully identified the iconic video game character known for his stealthy escapades and his yes. adventures in We're the Metal on. Gear We're series. Moving on. The challenges ahead will test your knowledge to its very limits. Are you ready to continue on this perilous journey, or do you require a moment go, to go, catch go, your go, breath? Go, 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 we gotta get there, we gotta wrap this up. you're prepared for the next question, and we shall proceed. Asterisk, woo, asterisk. I feel like the bubble power-up in a level like this would be bad, because it's like, electric and stuff, right? Oh my god. Okay, nice! What is question two? In the realm of cinematic masterpieces, there exists a film that has captivated oh audiences God. with its profound storytelling, stunning visuals, and unforgettable characters. I don't watch movies! This film delves into the complexities of the human psyche, exploring themes of dreams, reality, and the thin line that separates them. Can you name this mind-bending masterpiece that has left viewers <laughs> Dude, questioning I don't their know. own perceptions? Delves into the complexities of the human psyche, exploring themes of dreams, reality, and the thin line that separates them. I gotta go Interstellar, dude. It's gotta be Interstellar. I'm gonna say Interstellar, final answer. We'll see what he says. Maybe I'll oh, give it to me. Oh, my dear contestant, your answer of Interstellar is indeed a fantastic film that explores the mysteries of space and time. Yes. Its breathtaking visuals and thought-provoking storyline have left audiences in awe. However, I must inform you that your answer while a worthy choice is not the mind-bending masterpiece no! I had in mind for this question. We have to play again. The correct answer I was seeking is none other than Inception. It's Inception. Directed by the visionary Christopher Nolan, Inception takes us on a journey into the world of dreams, where reality and imagination intertwine How did in I ways forget that about Inception? spinning. I need to mentally recover. Hey, you know, he gave me props. He said my answer was decent. Let's see what chat said. Inception, Inception, the Barbie movie, SpongeBob, Shrek 2 or B movie. <laughs> I mean, pretty good answers. All right, guys, we're down to three levels. We're making our way through this pretty fast. I thought I would be done by now too, but we got a little caught up in some of the uh, the flowers that didn't make it. It's okay. We're we're on good pace. We're on good pace. Nice, nice, nice. We gotta keep moving on. 
Wait a minute, it's time for the Twitch chat category, the final one. Bald Neanderthals. Foxes. Large language models. Okay, interesting. Foxes, B-movie facts. Okay, I'm seeing a few foxes. We're gonna go foxes on this final one. Wait, hold up. Did he break? Wait, are you alive? Oh, guys. I've got bad news. Flora 4 didn't make it all the way. I've got a good song to send this one off. A sea shanty fitting of a legend. Sea shanty 2. Rest in peace. Flora number 4. Enjoy exploring the world of Port Serum in the sky. You did great. A proper send-off. We're gonna take a minute to appreciate this tune. I thought- I thought they were gonna go the distance. I thought they were gonna make it to the very end, but they didn't. We got all the way to the finish line and they left us behind. Not Flora 4. Okay, that's enough. Hello, new flower. Are you ready for a great and fantastic trivia game show? Go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience. Well, 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 look who we have here. It's me, the one and only talking flower, ready to dazzle you with my intellect and sarcasm. Okay. I don't have a name, but you can call me, hmm, let's go with something majestic and magical, like Blossomius the Magnificent. Whoa. Yes, that has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Now, let's not waste any more time, this my dear sick. contestant. Get ready for the most epic trivia game show of your life, yes. hosted by yours truly. Are you excited? Of course you are. How could you not be? Blossomius the Magnificent. I've got some good and bad news. The bad news is, like, all of your siblings have gone to the great vase in the sky. They've passed away. They're no longer here. Rest in peace. But the good news is you're here to finish the game show for us. Rest in petals, my dear fallen comrades, but <laughs> fret not. For I, Blossomius the Magnificent, Rest shall petals. carry on their legacy of snark and condescension. Now on to the matter at hand. Which species of fox is known for its distinctive red coat and is the largest of all foxes? And remember, my dear Wait. contestant, getting this wrong what? means you'll have to face the punishment <laughs> of repeating a level in Super Mario Brothers Wonder. So no pressure. Take your time and let's see if you can impress me with your fox knowledge. Or more likely, disappoint me. D's nuts. Oh god, we got a D's nuts flower. I wasn't ready for the D's nuts. Okay, he's giving me a softball. He knows we've been through a lot. I'm gonna keep it simple. The red fox. Volpez Volpez, I think. Look at you keeping it simple. I must admit, I'm quite impressed. You got it right. It is indeed the red right. fox. Volpes Volpes that boasts that striking red coat and holds the title of the largest of all foxes. Bravo, consider me mildly surprised. You've managed to avoid the punishment this time, my dear contestant. Oh, how I long to see you suffer. This guy's unhinged. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how we feel about this guy. Wait for it, wait for it. Nice. Tin coin for the fans. The fans love the tin coin. I'm gaming out of my mind right now. I have to prove my worth. All right, we're done. This is a big moment, guys. If we get this right, we're ready. In the world of esports, which game holds the record for the highest prize pool in a single tournament to date? Oh, the suspense. Will you rise to the occasion and impress me uh, with your vast gaming I don't know. wisdom? Wait, maybe I do. Hold up. Think about it. the weight of this question. It was the international until the Fortnite World Cup happened, that I tried to qualify for in 2019, and then it was the Fortnite World Cup. It's the Fortnite World Cup! Is it- If it's- If, he, if the guy says the International, I'm tilted. Oh, my dear contestant, how you've disappointed me once again. I'm afraid your answer is incorrect. Crap! The correct answer is actually Dota 2, not Fortnite. Dude! The Dota 2 tournament known as the International oh holds my the record God. for the highest prize pool in a single this tournament. This guy sucks! With a staggering $34.3 million in 2019. I should have just gone with the International. But seriously, Dota 2, how could you get that so wrong? It's like you've been living under a rock in the mushroom. Okay, kingdom. okay, Jeez. you can stop! Nuts! <laughs> Why does it keep going? Dude, the international cheats because it's all, well, not all of it, but a large amount of it's crowdfunded. So if people buy, like, in-game cosmetics, it goes to the prize pool. They call it the compendium or something, right? Okay, okay, we gotta go. Go fast, go fast. Dude, I thought the Fortnite World Cup was actually it. I, f I didn't look into recent Dota 2 stuff. The World Cup was pretty big. Okay, we did our replay. That's the final replay, no more replays. But for the final gala, we have to answer three questions correct, and then we can do Bowser and be done. Now, as we approach the final section of our game show, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention that I have to complete before I can end the run entirely. The final trivia gauntlet. 
In order to complete the run, I'll have to answer three questions 100% correctly before I'll be allowed to complete the final level in the game. But there's a catch. Every single question will be given at the max difficulty, and all of them will be from separate categories. For these in particular, our flowery game show host could choose literally anything. All right, Blossomius, we have finally reached the last gauntlet of the run. What are we gonna get? Ah, the final gauntlet, the ultimate test of your wits. I can smell the anticipation in the air, my dear contestant. Brace yourself, for I shall unleash a barrage of questions upon Not you. Not the barrage. And since it's the grab bag category, I have free reign to choose from any topic that tickles my fancy. Okay. Let's begin, shall we? Uh, question one. In the world of music, which artist holds the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart? Question two, in the field of sports, who holds the record for the most home runs hit in a single Major League Baseball season? Question three, okay. in the realm of gaming, what was the first commercially successful video game released by Nintendo? Oh, the pressure. Will you triumph over these challenging questions okay, or wait, I gotta think about under this. the weight of my genius? I don't have to get all of them, but if I get like one or two, then I'll have to do just however many are remaining. But we're gonna try all of them. Which artist holds the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart? Michael Jackson, The Beatles? I'm gonna go The Beatles, I think. I don't know. The record for the most home runs in a season. Uh, Barry Bond, Sammy Sosa, I don't know. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I think I know what I wanna go with. I'm a, okay, I'm ready. In the world of music, the artist who holds the most number one hits, I'm gonna go with, it's The Beatles. In the field of sports, I'm gonna go with Barry Bonds for the most home runs in a single season. In gaming, the first commercially successful video game released by Nintendo is Super Mario Bros. for the NES. I forgot about the arcade. Donkey Kong's big, though. We're gonna let this guy be the judge. Oh, my dear contestant, you've done it. You've successfully answered all three questions correctly in this final <laughs> trivia blitz. Whoa, I must admit, it. you've impressed me with your knowledge. <laughs> For question I'm one, insane. you are absolutely I'm a trivia right. master. The Beatles hold the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Those lads from Liverpool sure knew how to make hit after hit. The trivia master and for question two, you hit it out of the park. Barry Bonds indeed holds the record for the most home runs. Don't, hit don't look in a up. Don't look up to see if this is legit. Season. Don't look it up. Quite the slugger that one. Lastly, for question three. You've nailed it. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. for the NES was indeed the first commercially successful no, 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 don't video look it up, game it's released fine. by Nintendo. A true gaming classic that has captured the hearts of millions. We don't need to, we don't need to fact check. Congratulations, my dear contestant. You've conquered the final gauntlet. You've proven yourself worthy of reaching the grand finale. I must admit, I'm both impressed and slightly disturbed by your success. The voices... <laughs> They're getting louder. I apologize for my ramblings. Let's move on, shall we? Not the voices. But seriously, you got them all right? That's just impressive. I almost didn't expect it. D's nuts. Of course. Gotta, gotta end it with a D's nuts. Look, I said before this began, okay? We're going with what the guy says is right. If he says it's right, even if it's wrong, hey, it's his game show, not mine. Well, now we just gotta get through this, guys, and then we can split. Alright, alright, alright. This is like the victory lap. We just gotta wrap this up, guys. So now, we march onwards into the final Bowser fight. Oh, I jumped into the big piranha plant. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta wrap this up. Boom! There it is. If we're looking at Super Mario Wonder any percent speed runs. Not including the trivia, it's still a very formidable showing. You'll see that uh, if I zoom in, we will get uh, 51st place. Not bad, everybody. Very nice. Blossomi is the Magnificent. We've done it. We have defeated Bowser. We've claimed the world record in the any percent slash trivia Super Mario Bros. Wonder category. I must say... I'm both impressed and slightly disturbed by your prowess. The voices, they're cheering for you. Yes, the voices! As for your final question, I have only one thing to say. Whoop-de-doo!